The first gun. The first gun and gunpowder are widely believed to have originated in China during the 10th and 9th centuries, respectively. The Chinese invented fire-spurting lances in the 10th century, which consisted of a bamboo or metal rod to hold the gunpowder or hui yao, which means fire chemical. Hui yao was an ancient Chinese invention that was historically used to treat indigestion. While searching for the elixir of immortality, Chinese alchemists unintentionally discovered the volatile and explosive elements of this black powder. The fire-spurting lances were used during the Jin Song Wars of the Song Dynasty, which lasted from 960 to 1279. These fire-spurting lances are recorded as the first guns, as well as the first known use of gunpowder in war or otherwise. The Huolongling or Fire Drake Manual goes into great detail about these devices, which were the first uses of gunpowder-based weapons and artillery. Jiao Yu and Liu Bowen were military officers, philosophers, and political advocates during the early Ming Dynasty when they wrote this manuscript. The Hand Cannon The cannon gained popularity because it annihilated troops despite their fast horses and heavy steel armor. Following the invention of cannons, the concept of firing a large fiery ball of lead at enemies began to be conceptualized as a device that individuals could handle and operate. To fire the weapon, the wielder, or occasionally an assistant, would hold a live flame to the end of the barrel, igniting the gunpowder and propelling the projectile outwards. Ammunition was generally scarce in the 13th century, so anything, such as stones, nails, or anything else they could find, would be used in place of an iron ball. Matchlock the matchlock, invented in the early 15th century, revolutionized the advancement of handguns. It was a device with an S-shaped arm that held a match and a trigger that lowered the match to ignite the powder held in the pan on the gun side. This ignition would then light the main charge, which would fire the projectile out of the gun's barrel, allowing the user to let go of his aid in firing the weapon. Rifle in the early 16th century in Augsburg, Germany, rifling was one of many improvements on firearms that served to advance the exciting realm of firearms in their accuracy. Rifling entailed cutting spiral grooves on the inside of the gun's barrel. This allowed the projectile to spin while shooting out of the barrel, which, like an arrow, allowed the bullet to maintain its directional course, greatly improving accuracy, much like fletching feathers to an arrow. Flintlock. The reload speed of firearms was first addressed in the early 17th century with the invention of the flintlock, which was primarily used on muskets invented around the same time. By the time the Revolutionary War was fought, soldiers could fire up to three times per minute, a significant improvement from the initial muskets one shot per minute in 1615 AD. This is comparable to the hand cannon, which fired at a rate of about one shot every two minutes. The Colt Samuel Colt invented the Colt revolver in 1836 and died a wealthy man as a result of his invention. This included the revolution of a gun that could fire multiple bullets without having to be reloaded, and Colt also introduced the concept of interchangeable parts which greatly reduced the cost of servicing weaponry when pieces of the weapon were worn and broken, and allowed Colt to produce 150 weapons per day in 1856. Birth of the Shotgun John Moses Browning developed the shotgun designs we see today around 1878. He created the pump action, lever action, and auto-loading shotguns that are still in use today, albeit improved. The shotgun was a hunting weapon, and no specific invention date has been recorded. It was primarily used in fouling by the British in the 16th and 17th centuries, and continues to be so today. The Rise of Machine Guns Richard J. Gatling invented and patented the Gatling gun in 1862. The Gatling gun was a hand-cranked machine gun that could fire bullets at a rapid rate. Gatling approached Colt about having his guns manufactured and sold. It was the first gun to address the issues of reloading, dependability, and maintaining a consistent rate of fire. 
Hiram Maxim invented the Maxim gun in 1884. It quickly became a standard military weapon, and it was heavily used by the British Army during World War I, which became known as the Machine Gun War. Although the Maxim gun was first used in the Matabele War, Hiram Maxim's invention changed history by being used in both world wars. Notable gun improvements of the 19th century The introduction of rapid-fire weaponry such as the Maxim gun and the high-power and semi-automatic Colt revolver revolutionized the firearms industry in the early and late 19th centuries. To highlight some of the less noticed advances in gun technology over the years, consider the revolutionary mini ball. This transformed the bullet from a simple round ball into a slug with a concave bottom, that expanded when fired to better grip the inside of the gun barrel. This expansion improved the slug spin, which improved accuracy, and the elongated and pointed nose of the bullet proved to give it better aerodynamics, which greatly increased the bullet's range. The following item was one that finally replaced the unreliable flintlock system that had persisted throughout the 17th and 18th centuries. Percussion caps were the name given to these replacements. Percussion caps were developed soon after the discovery of fulminates in 1800, which were compounds such as mercury and potassium that exploded on impact. The percussion cap was a bronze cap that was struck by the hammer resulting in a spark that ignited the gunpowder and fired the projectile from the gun. Late 20th century evolution. Guns like the famous Tommy gun or Thompson machine gun by John T. Thompson were among the advancements. The Tommy gun was actually unpopular because it was invented shortly after World War I ended and was primarily used by mobsters in gang wars. John Thompson was saddened to see the gun used in this manner and he died in 1940 before it could be used in the Second World War. The AR-15 The semi-automatic rifle, known as the AR-15, rose to prominence in 1959 when Armalite sold the design to Colt Manufacturing, and has since grown to become one of the most common guns in the continental United States. It's important to understand that the AR is an abbreviation for Armalite, not assault rifle or automatic rifle. It is now used as a modern sporting rifle for hunting and recreation. This gun has sparked public outrage and earned the moniker Assault Rifle, possibly as a result of anti-gun legislators attempting to ban it due to its use in mass shootings. Adolf Hitler is credited with coining the term Assault Rifle during World War II, when he referred to the MP43 as the Sturmgewehr, which translates to Assault Rifle in English. Gun owners are vehemently opposed to any ban imposed on the AR-15, arguing that it is a semi-automatic rifle designed for hunting and recreation. This equates to one bullet per trigger pull. This was the evolution of the firearms. We hope you like the video. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more videos about the evolution of things. Thank you for watching.